This is fairly typical for what we see in plutonic igneous hornblends. Brown to green pleochroism, moderate relief across the polars, low interference colors. Um, the cleavages you'll see have uh, demonstrate inclined extinction. But hornblend is tough because there are a lot of different amphiboles that we just kind of generically refer to as hornblend. Um, and because they all have different compositions, they can have different optical characteristics. This is a granulite facies hornblend, um, and it shows the uh, brown pleochroism, uh, but also the beautiful amphibole 6120 cleavage. Um, across the polars, and you'll see it's um, fairly low first order uh, colorful uh, interference colors. So this is another end section of horn blend, and you can see it has a, a variety of, of pleochroic colors, pale green to uh, sort of a brownish green uh, color. That's pretty typical for horn blends. Uh, really impressive interference colors here. Now these are fairly typical metamorphic horn blends. They're more blue-green than brown-green. The end section there with the amphibole cleavage is, is greener, and the one that's elongate in the plane of the section is bluer across the polars, and I think you can tell uh, it's got inclined extinction. It may have to slow down the video to see that. And that bright blue-green uh, interference color goes about as high as you ever see. Here again are some fairly typical metamorphic horn blends. Um, they're, they're definitely blue, but, but notice it's blue to green, not blue to lavender. And so that's one way that you can tell that this is hornblende and not glaucophane. Um, otherwise, of course, they're both amphiboles. They'd have moderate relief and similar interference colors. This is a very magnesian uh, hornblende. Uh, the more magnesium they are, the less colorful they are, uh, less pleochroic. Um, again, you can still see the, the 6120 cleavage and this sort of gray-green uh, pleochroism, um, similar interference colors, and so on. And here's one that's fairly pale. It's, it's got that blue to green pleochroism that you see in more colorful horn blends. Um, here also, when I cross the polars, you'll see uh, that this amphibole has inclined extinction, so it's extinct right there. And uh, it, so it's at an angle to the uh, crosshairs. And that tells you it's in the monoclinic system, not the orthorhombic.